Will the all-new 2024 Toyota Tundra go all-electric? Toyota Tundra is back in the news with its brand new model that's going to launch in 2024. It's been rumored that this car will be all electric when it will launch. Though the company has launched some data about the upcoming model, people are yet suspenseful about what this new model is going to give them. But don't worry, we have the solution for all these problems and questions exclusively available to you on Tech Addicts. Today, we'll be dealing with the new 2024 Toyota Tundra model. Is it going to be all electric or not? Watch out for the video from the start to the end. That way, you'll know everything about it. And before that, please subscribe to our channel and let us begin. Reports indicate that the newly designed 2024 Toyota Tundra will go on sale at some point in the year 2023. The new truck will have what is known as a crew cab configuration, which is an extremely important feature. We anticipate numerous improvements to the interior, including a large infotainment display and a new cabin layout, in addition to a more aesthetically pleasing exterior. This model now has a more comfortable ride thanks to an improved coil spring rear suspension that was added in the update from the year before. So finally, we can say that this time, get ready for the amazing drive of the Toyota Tundra. Before we get into the specifics of the Toyota Tundra 2024, let's take a quick look back at the previous generations of the Tundra automobile. Since May 1999, the pickup truck known as the Toyota Tundra has been produced every year by the Japanese automaker Toyota in the United States of America. Although the Toyota T100 was the first full-size pickup to be built by a Japanese manufacturer, the Tundra was the first full-size pickup from a Japanese manufacturer to be built in North America. The Toyota T100 was the first full-size pickup built by a Japanese manufacturer. The Tundra was recognized as the Truck of the Year by Motor Trend Magazine in both 2000 and 2008, and it received a nomination for the North American Truck of the Year Award. It was at first assembled in a brand new Toyota plant in Princeton, Indiana. However, in 2008, production was moved to Toyota's factory in San Antonio, Texas. Currently, it is the only full-size pickup truck that is manufactured in the state of Texas. For the 2022 model year, Toyota completely redesigned the Tundra Crew Cab pickup truck. The Institute uses the results of a test that Toyota performed on a 2022 Tundra Crew Cab as part of the verification process for frontal crash tests to determine the passenger side small overlap frontal ratings for the vehicle. After being available for purchase for more than a decade, the Toyota Tundra currently holds approximately 17% of the market for full-size half-tons. When compared to the Toyota T100 pickup, which sold approximately 50,000 units, Toyota Tundras accounted for 107,998 of the brand sales in the year 2000. By the year 2005, Toyota had accomplished the sale of 126,529 units. Due to the increased production capacity at the San Antonio plant, Toyota anticipated selling approximately 200,000 Tundras in the year 2007. In 2007, Toyota came in just under 200,000 units, short of the sales goal that it had set for the year. Comparatively, in that year of 07, sales of the GMC Sierra were more than 12,000 units higher than those of the Toyota Tundra. Sales of the Chevrolet Silverado were more than 422,000 units higher than those of the Tundra. However, the Ford F-150 was once again the sales leader was 756,980 units that same year. The 5.7-liter models account for around 70-80% to 80 of all Tundra sales, while the Crew Max models make up 46% of all Tundra purchases. In comparison to what was anticipated, sales of the conventional cab models are much lower. On the other hand, the Tundra is the only full-size truck available in the half-ton market that does not offer a V8 engine option. Regardless of the circumstances, it makes use of a twin-turbo V6 engine that can be adjusted to one of three distinct power levels. In addition, there are rumors that Toyota is planning to launch an all-electric version of the Tundra in the not-too-distant future. The following is all the information that we currently have on this vehicle as we wait for official news. So let's know more details about the engine of the Toyota Tundra. Unfortunately, the 2024 Tundra will only be available with a single-engine configuration, much as the model it replaces. A reliable gasoline engine with twin turbochargers and a V6 configuration is located under the hood, and it's paired with a 10-speed automatic gearbox. This particular engine is offered in a choice of three different power outputs. The SR is the entry-level model, and it produces 348 horsepower and 405 pound-feet of torque. In addition to it, there's a second output that has a horsepower of 389 and a torque of 479 pound-feet. There's also a hybrid version of the V6 engine that can be purchased, which consists of a transmission that has an electric motor incorporated into it. 
This setup guarantees around 435 horsepower and 582 pound-feet of torque. Toyota claims that its hybrid model can go from 0 to 60 miles per hour in less than 5.6 seconds. The latest iteration of this vehicle can pull up to 12,000 pounds when properly equipped. Although it has not yet been confirmed, it is possible that the new model will have improved towing capacity. In addition, we expect the launch of the all-electric variant within the next two years. Now it's time to check out fresh look for the interior. The future 2024 Toyota Tundra will have a big cabin with adequate accommodation for up to five passengers. According to rumors, Toyota will release the current generation of the Tundra in 2024 in either a double cab or crew max version. We strongly suggested upgrading to the crew max, which provides plenty of headroom and legroom in addition to pleasant seating options. The old model did not compare well to the new one in terms of the quality of the inside. The quality of the inside will increase depending on the trim level that you choose. Every model is equipped with a digital gauge cluster of 12.3 inches, and a touchscreen measuring 8 inches is also a part of the package. On the other hand, an outstanding touchscreen measuring 14 inches may be added to the display that is used for the infotainment system. Additionally, a Wi-Fi hotspot, Android Auto, and Apple CarPlay wireless connectivity are all provided as standard features in this vehicle. We are waiting for Toyota to provide the formal specifics since there are a lot of things that might change before 2024. In addition, if you choose the limited trim level, your front seats will be heated and ventilated. If you choose the 1794 edition or the Platinum, your front and rear seats will also be heated and ventilated. There are some alterations to the outside also, so let's try to figure that out. The body of the brand new 2024 Toyota Tundra is designed to have a more upright stance in comparison to the model that it is replacing. One more choice for this incredible automobile is the brand new SX package, which can only be purchased in conjunction with the SR5 trim level. According to the information that's currently accessible, selecting this option would impart a more menacing persona onto the Tundra by way of the addition of wheels measuring 18 inches in diameter and different blacked out treatments. Customers also have the opportunity to pick some of the more costly ones, such as the more luxurious TRD Pro and Capstone trim levels, in addition to this particular degree of customization. In any case, with the changes to the lighting of the 2023 Tundra, the next Tundra will most certainly get further significant cosmetic modifications. Now we'll talk about the price and the launch date. When it comes to the cost of the Toyota Tundra 2024, we anticipate it will begin somewhere around $37,000. On the other side, the price for the most expensive trim level, the Capstone, will be closer to $80,000. Later in 2023, sales will commence, and there's little doubt that this full-size truck will continue to be among the most well-liked models available in its category. Hey, that's it for today's video. Please let us know in the comment box if you are also crazy about it, and book your slots as soon as possible so you don't miss out on the very first batch of this new Toyota Tundra. Hey, if you liked our video, we ask that you please like it and share it with your friends and family and other car fans who are in your inner circle. You can also subscribe to our YouTube channel to see more valuable videos. If we can ask you one more favor, friends, please make sure you press that bell icon on your way out the door. That way you'll always be notified of our latest uploads to our channel and you can always stay updated with us. Thanks for spending time with us today, and we'll catch up with you in our next video. Thanks for watching.